So DJI hasn't really put a lot of effort into the budget drone market lately. Drones like the Mavic Pro and the Phantom 4 have gotten extremely expensive and they were focused more on building pro versions of those already really expensive drones. So that raises one question. Hey what's up, I'm Brian with EBO Gadgets and is the Phantom 3 standard still worth it? So the DJI Phantom 3 standard can be had for under 500 euros now that's a little older. But does that still make it worth buying? In my opinion the answer is yes, and here are a few reasons why. Even though there are lots of options in the budget drone market, there are still a lot of reasons that speak for buying a drone by the biggest drone manufacturer. DJI's software is very mature and very easy to use for beginners. This is especially true because all of the guided flight modes and features make it very hard to break your drone. Return to Home has saved this Phantom already when it got caught in strong wind during trying to land. Since a lot of countries impose regulations upon flying drones, DJI also provides you with a lot of control measures that make sure that your drone is not going to fly where it's not supposed to. We are very close to Hamburg airport here for example, so our drone will not go above a certain height. Another reason why I recommend DJI drones to people is because with them you don't have to worry about getting in trouble as long as you don't ignore all of the safety warnings. Since DJI sells the most drones, they also have the widest selection of replacement parts and accessories available in case something goes wrong. They also give you a second set of rotors in the box by the way, so in case your drone flies into a tree, you're not screwed right away. And they give you these nice colored stickers for customization. I mean, who doesn't like stickers? But apart from the features that it shares with its more expensive brothers, the DJI Phantom 3 standard of course also has to make some compromises though. It doesn't feature DJI's light bridge technology, which would enable it to get you an HD video feed from up to a few kilometers away. But the standard Wi-Fi feed it offers also is pretty good. And since in most places you are not allowed to fly out of sight anyway, the few hundred meters that Wi-Fi offers should be enough for most. The camera is also a strong point of the drone. The 12 megapixel shooter doesn't record 4K, but the 1080p and 1440p video quality is still pretty great. Plus, most people can't even view or edit 4K video yet, so it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. access gimbal by the way, which makes you get really smooth and stable footage. You can make it almost look like a tripod in the sky if you have enough flight experience. And the fact of the missing features also has its benefits because it makes the drone save a lot of juice. You can get up to 25 minutes of flight time which is really impressive and good because first party additional batteries cost a fortune. So this is why I think the DJI Phantom 3 standard is still a great drone and why I would still recommend to buy it. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below or tweet it at me. 
And as always, if you liked the video, press the like button and get subscribed to the channel for a compilation of the drone footage we took, which is going to go up the day after this video is live. You should also follow us on Instagram and Twitter, because I post a lot of cool stuff there, and you should visit the website for the written version of this and other interesting articles. But with that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!